Hello, my name is Sarah Bukola Adeoye. I'm your host on Living Real with Sarah Talk Show. A talk show that is aimed at helping you to build and maintain healthy relationships. And this we tackle on three basic levels. One, your relationship with your maker. Two, your relationship with yourself. And three, your relationship with other people. The last three broadcasts had been on a topic, how to be a better team player. And we are discussing your relationship with other people. When you have to work with other people on a team, then it's beyond how you relate with yourself. Now we are looking at how you relate with other people. But of course, relating well with yourself is the foundation for knowing or for relating well with other people. If you do not know how to relate well with yourself, hmm, relating well with other people is definitely going to be a challenge. But I'm going ahead today on the part four of the topic, how to be a better team player. And I'm looking at the um, issue of conflict. Conflict. It's inevitable when you're on a team. As long as you're working with other people, expect there to be conflict. As a matter of fact, at times you do certain stuff and you are, you are angry with yourself. Like, how could I have done that? That is with yourself. Now, imagine when you're working with other people, how can you expect that there wouldn't be any issue or conflict? No, it's gonna be, it's, it's, it's gonna happen. It's inevitable and that is why you must prepare for it. Now, you will step on people's toes, people will step on your toes. That is why it has to be addressed from the beginning. Make up your mind that no matter what happens, I'm going to work for the success of this team. From the beginning, make up your mind. From the time that you know the goal of that team, keep focus on that goal. So that no matter what happens along the way, you won't take it so personally that it will affect your input or contribution to the success of your team. So conflicts will come in various ways. It could appear like an attack on you it could appear like you know and you know you are being ignored it could be like it could appear like you are being sidelined it could even be personal things like somebody did not compliment your look or somebody gave a negative you know <laughs> assessment of something that you are the one working on and things like that now because you are already prepared for conflict when they happen they don't you know bite so hard just know that for anything good to happen there must be oppositions there must be some negative vibes that we want to come up along the way so what do you do to be a better team player expect conflicts prepare for conflicts when they come handle them do not let them debar you from looking at the aim of the team focus on the goal there is a common saying back in africa we say when you are in the marketplace there is bound to be noise but what do you do you focus on the one you are bargaining with and ignore the noise of the market otherwise you won't get anything done. Expect conflicts when you work with people, but keep focus on the goal and refuse to let those tiny little stuff that crop up every once in a while debar you from being your best and from achieving what your team has set out to achieve. For example, Maybe you're on, on, a, on a, a team of players playing soccer and then somebody had something against you or you had something against someone that had not been resolved and then you get on the pitch and, you know, 
and you're playing soccer and you know that you have a goal and the goal is to score as many you know points as you can against your opponents now when the opportunity comes for you to let's say um, pass the ball to a striker and that happens to be the one that you have you know something you have an issue with that's not been resolved and you now say oh i won't pass the ball to him i won't pass the ball to him because you are nursing that grudge and now you have shifted your gaze from the goal of the team then you're going to allow your personal grudge against a fellow team player to cost the whole team the success that they have worked so much for so conflicts will always arise as long as you're working with people living with people there will always be a time of conflict expect it and don't take it too personally as soon as you can talk about it call the person and talk to the person this is how I felt when you did this or when you said that and you know, just settle it amicably but do not allow conflict to rob you or rob your team of success expect it prepare for it when it comes address it and ensure that you don't shift your gaze away from the goal of the team that is it conflicts will arise and when they come put them in their place don't take your gaze away from the goal of the team and don't take things too personally don't always take things too personally learn to laugh off stuff learn to even laugh at yourself at times you know and just move on we are still discussing how to be a better team player and I'll come your way again very soon but until I do that I'm saying to you again today keep living real